Today marks one week since Hurricane Michael devastated parts of the southeast. And crews from all across the U.S. still down there, of course, helping out as many are left without homes and jobs. And that, of course, includes Ohio Task Force One. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart caught up with them today. Hear the latest on their ongoing efforts. That's right. More local crews recently arrived in the Florida Panhandle, and they were immediately called into action and today searching for those who did not survive. Ohio Task Force One continues serving the Panhandle with crews both in Panama City Beach and Mexico Beach now using three human remain detection canine units or cadaver dogs to search through rubble. Not much left of the Mexico Beach area, unfortunately, for those folks. Um, yeah, I was on uh, Hurricane Katrina, and it, it kind of reminiscent of that. This marks their eighth day deployed, six carrying out rescues and search efforts, and make up a fourth of the canine units being used. The others coming from Tennessee, Maryland, and Missouri. They're doing secondary searches of the areas that have been cleared of, uh, of hopefully of any and all um, survivors. And uh, now they're, they're looking for those that didn't survive and, uh, and try and provide closure for, the, for our, our local, state, and uh, tribal partners that are here in the state of Florida. Coop says the Ohio Task Force One members should be released soon, but encourages continuing your donations if possible because Hurricane Michael's victims will be hurting for months. Frequently they offer us, you know, do you need a bottle of water, or do you need something to eat, and, and it, it's, it's, it's heartwarming to, to see somebody that's gone through something this bad um, still have that compassion for, for their fellow humans and, uh, and, and offer up maybe their last bottle of water. Now they end their mission at dark, then they will discuss how today's search missions went. From that, they will decide if they will head back here to Ohio tomorrow or if they are still needed in Florida. Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.